took a little road trip out yesterday to Kendall. There's a few shops there which they don't have in Barrow and Sainsbury's is one of them. So I took a, I walked, I walked in and it starts the first Sainsbury's I've ever been in. A massive, a massive store. And uh, I was looking for new food and I found some. Now I try and review food for uh, new food for all budgets. And this is the most expensive food item that I'm going to review. Uh, yeah, it is. I think it is. Yeah, I did a, a tomahawk steak. I think that was about £15. Anyway, this is new. It's from Sainsbury's. Come and have a look what I got. Taste the difference. Slow cooked hickory smoked barbecue beef sharing platter. Short ribs, burnt ends and brisket with a Kansas style barbecue glaze. It's a expertly butchered prime cuts of beef, lightly smoked before be being slowly cooked to deliver exceptional tenderness and depth of flavour. It's oven cook, 40 minutes. It says it serves four. So we've got some spiel here. Um, it says our farmers are dedicated to rearing and producing the best quality beef. The little traffic light system for the nutrition and um, yeah there is the, the serving suggestion look at that I hope you're all spot on by the way <laughs> just saw the price yes it's 16 pounds so yeah it's expensive it's it's the most expensive meal I'm, I've reviewed on the channel in three years coming up three years next month says so it serves four um, let's have a let's uh, let's have a closer look at the box so it's a, it's a big one. It's um, it's a big it's a whopper. It's a big box. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look. Um, so it's one point four kg. So that's four eight. So that's what's three hundred and fifty grams per portion. Is that, if that's right? Is it three six nine twelve? Yeah, three hundred and fifty grams a portion. Well, it'd be nice if it was four hundred grams a portion for a start. We've got a GB sticker. So we've got some spiel there at the top. It's um, if I can just hold it up. Hickory smoked slow cooked seasoned beef, British beef, short ribs, diced beef brisket, and beef brisket with a sachet of Kansas style barbecue glaze. There's the ingredients, and the allergens are wheat and mustard in there. So more nutritional information there. If you um, want to have a look at that and pause it, by all means, go ahead. So. Oven cook from chilled. It's not frozen. It's chilled. It was in the chilled in in the in the fridges. So you've got to there's a, a before cooking, during cooking, and after cooking. I'll try and follow them the best I can. And your oven cook from chilled, and it's forty minutes at fan one eighty, two hundred degrees, gas seven. Yeah. Any more spiel on here? Let's have a look. I think we've covered that bit of spiel, like a bit of spiel. Yeah. So it's it's a big one. So I'm going to get it open now and um, see what we've got. So I've seen this and uh, I've seen it was new. It was in like the slow cooked sort of section. Uh, and I thought, I walked past it, I picked it up, I looked at it, I thought, well, it's new. I thought, oh, I'm going to review that. And then I seen the price and then I put it back and then I thought, well, you know, I'm a YouTube channel that reviews new food. So I've got to sort of, I'm not like trying to justify myself to you, but I'm I'm trying to, you know, I'm just reviewing it anyway. Let's just see. I do like my meat as well. So the, the tab system is my finger. Yeah, so that's what you get. You get a metal tray as well, look for it to all go in. So I would imagine it's just all going to go in there, isn't it? It's all packaged, look, all vacuum sort of packaged. There's your, um, your hickory sort of. Kansas style barbecue sauce. Allergen is wheat and mustard in there. They look like your burnt ends, don't they? Brisket. They look like your beef brisket on the bone. I did two short ribs, two beef beef short ribs from where was it? From Asda. And they were seven pounds. So that's for two. So you get that and you get that with it as well. So that's obviously beef brisket, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So I think it must all go in here and um, we'll get it in the oven. 
So I'll just turn the box over. I missed all this on here. It's um, pick master tips. So I thought I've done. I know I've bought it wrong because I haven't got my barbecue and it's pouring down out there. But um, it says step one: decant the ribs, brisket, burnt ends in a foil tray, provided loosely covered foil, place on a preheated barbecue. So I thought, oh no! But anyway, you can do it in the oven because it says oven there. Look, so there's some more spill there. If you I'll, if you want to pause that screen and read it yourself, go ahead. Uh, but I just pick, I picked up there. The beef is then coated in a blend of barbecue spice and slow cooked for up, up, us for six hours. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to follow these cook these instructions here. There's steps there, but I'm going to follow these ones here. So you have to decant everything into this tray. Uh, and then goes in the oven for 40 minutes so I'm going to get them open now we'll get them all open we'll get them in this tray there's no tab systems on these because yeah, there's your that's 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 not cheese by the way on there that's fat <laughs> that's fat I'm going to leave that in there fat is flavour that's staying in there um, I'm going to get this in here after you. So there, that's going in there, that's your beef brisket. Serves form, not sure here. If there's still only two ribs there, I would say there's one each, isn't there? Serves two, not four. Yeah, serves four. I mean, obviously, no, I'm not having it. <laughs> not having it for a start, serving four. Um, I'll just pour that out. There you burn, I think there must be your burnt ends. Plenty of burnt ends in there. So this is all going in the bin. It's not recyclable this. Plastic like this isn't recyclable. Not that I'm aware of anyway. Please let me know in the comments. But I'm quite sure that this sort of plastic you don't recycle. Anyway, it's not going in my recycling bin. So there's your burnt ends. There's your brisket. And there's your short ribs. So it's, it's going in the oven like that. I'm just preheating it. So I read on the, on the instructions, you're to, you're to cover the foil tray as well with foil and you're to, you're to wrap it tightly so um, well, 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 let's have a look. Right, I just washed my hands, they're all sticky you see. So wrap it tightly, I mean that's about as good as I'm going to get right? Yeah, that'll have to do. That'll have to do, it'll have to go in like that. That's as tight as I can get it. So the oven is preheated, uh, 180 degrees for 40 minutes. And that's how long it cooks or warms up for. And after half an hour, you have to bring it out. It says pour the juices away and then recover. And we'll just double check. It says during cooking after 30 minutes, yeah. Remove from the oven, discarding the foil, carefully pour off juices. And return to the oven for 10 minutes. Add sachet of glaze evenly over beef during the final five minutes. So there's quite a procedure there. Um, yeah, so I better set my timer on my me, uh, me big oven just so I can uh, not forget. It's had half an hour, so we have just take this off and discard the foil. And um, that's what you get. Hello. Have a look. So yeah, so let me know in the comments. Do you, do you think it's a, a serving for four? I mean, you'd have to share these two with, between two people, wouldn't you? Hmm. I don't think it's a four platter. So this is getting the full Monty. I'm going to weigh it. So I'm going to weigh that. I have zeroed the scales. So I'll have to remember that one. It's 188 grams because that will be included in the weight. So let's weigh it all. So let's get the... The brisket in as well. I have zeroed them. So 188 add 234. Let's get the, the ribs on. Let's get it all on. It's not waste any. Um, add 317. I won't know this till I edit it. And there the burnt ends. 321. So I'll have to add all that up. So I've got that, I've got the sauce. Yeah, I've got I've got it all. There's everything there, what I've done. 
So I'll put on the screen the, the, the weight that you actually get. And now you've got a tab system on here and I have set aside a bit of all, all three of the, the bits I've put here. I'm not going to put any sauce on them. I'm going to try it without the sauce. Oh, well, the tab system works. And I'm just going to sort of put the sauce over everything. And now it goes back in the oven for five five more minutes. So this is inspired by, by like the pit masters in America, where they slow cook everything for hours and hours. Yeah. Hope it tastes good, that's all I can say. I've left that bit there, I'm gonna try that without it. And thanks David for them scales. Cracking gift, mate. Thank you very much. So I'll let it rest for a few minutes. Let's have a look at it. Let me see if I get a bit of better light for you and have a look. That's better, isn't it? So have you got your... I put this to one side, this bit. I'm going to try it without the sauce on. Your burnt ends, your brisket and your short ribs. So I've dished my wife's up. It's, in, it's back in the oven, warming. While I just try this and then we'll sit down and get it. We'll eat it. So I'm just going to sort of get it on the plate first. The bits I've got. Right, let's see what this is like. So it's definitely a treat. So that's the, the brisket. Let's let's pull that open. Yeah, that's that's coming across okay, nicely. Salivating. This is a treat. This is a treat. This goodness me. There's your brisket. Oh. Mm. oh, that is lovely. It's a little bit dry, but it's tasty. You definitely need the sauce on that, but it is lovely. So I'm going to try a burnt end. I've done burnt ends before. I think they were T T G I Friday. I had to sort of think, get my words out right. Then didn't want to say the other one. That's the burnt end, and they were lovely as well, if I remember rightly. Mm, that there, that's good. That is lovely. That sauce is really good. It's, it's got like a real depth of smoke flavour in the sauce. Now I've tried them. I've, I've done it all wrong here. I should have tried the other bits first. I should have tried the bits that haven't got sauce on. Anyway, that's, that's a burnt end with no sauce on. Mm. There's an overwhelming smokiness. That's penetrated in the meat and you can taste it. It's, it stands out a mile. It's lovely. So that's that's the short rib. Mm. That one's a bit more chewy. But still really good. And so it should be as well for 16 nicker. I dare say if you do it on a barbecue with charcoal underneath, you you know, and you've got a lid on it, you're gonna you're gonna bring out the flavours even more. It is a treat. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Like I said earlier, I'm trying to it's new, try and do new food for all budgets. I know that this is one this is my most expensive food review, but it's new, we've got to try these things. I like it, I do like it, and thank thankfully it's delivered, it really has delivered. So take care, all the best, so I'll get back to you on the next one.